first thing for you would be offensively, that first half, you got off to a great start, uh, 18 points. Talk about how it got going for you there. Uh, we just needed it. Uh, that was a really good team. We, pre we prepared for a good team coming in. So I just wanted to do whatever I could to kind of give us a lead, kind of give us, uh, put us in a good position going into the half. So I think uh, my teammates and my coaches put me in a position so that I could I could play well and help my team. And then going into the second half, kind of everybody else got going. So like I said, I won my role all year to uh, just kind of take pressure off of guys, make guys feel comfortable. And that's what I was most impressed with is that we could play well enough to uh, be in a position to uh, come out with a, a good win and get everybody else going. Talk about that defensively in the second half. I've really seen you guys turn it up a notch there. I think we made some leaps forward with our zone defense. I think we did a decent job rebounding. So that's going to be something that's going to be our staple all through the year. So um, we got practice again on Sunday. We're going to try to improve it a little more. But I think all in all, the defense improved tonight against a good team. Hey, you talk a little bit about uh, you being a 50-year guy, the freshman Torian Thompson tonight. He seemed to have a really good game, especially in that second half, getting some baskets and rebounds. Yeah, he's as talented as they come. And I think in another year or two, I mean, he's going to be the face of Syracuse. He's going to be one of the top players in the country just because he has a good natural feel for the game. So I think once he learns more and develops more of an IQ, he's really going to be dangerous because he's uh, versatile and he's really patient in the post. You know, when guys are cutting through, he does a good job of buying himself time just with his, his patience with the ball. And yeah, last thing for you would be a game like this against, against a Monmouth team that has experience. They're Play some big games every year. Mm -hmm. What is that like to come out with a victory like this, really, in what would seem to be a hard fought game throughout the night? Oh, uh, yeah, we, we prepared for a really good team coming in, so I think that was a good test for us. So I don't think the lopsided win is a, a testament of uh, how good or bad Monmouth is. I think uh, they're really going to be good throughout the course of the year. So that definitely gives us some confidence. But uh, when you play a Syracuse schedule, you have heavy hitters uh, every night once the season gets rolling. So we just got to take it with a grain of salt and keep moving on. Uh, first off, just uh, talk to me tonight. Uh, Monmouth, a, a team that's got a lot of experience. Uh, talk about this win. It seemed to be a tough battle out there, but you guys were able to pull it out. And pull yeah, it was, a, it was a tough battle. Uh, coming into the game, we knew there was a tournament team last year, and they didn't get in the tournament. But, but we had to uh, come out and just play hard, rebound the ball, and definitely play defense, and we came out with a big win today. Uh, the second half especially, it, seems you guys, it seemed like you guys took the zone to a different match. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think we held them to under 25 points, so in the second half, we stepped up on defense. We uh, rebounded the ball very good, and we got the one. Uh, talk to me a little bit. Uh, first half, it seemed to be uh, Andrew really helping you guys offensively, mm -hmm. getting going, getting that offense going. Yeah, when he come out hot like that, hitting threes, that just opened up everything else, and uh, that just gives us a lot of confidence to go in the second half and get a big one today.